And I'm special You was something special You was something special I could tell by when I met you Good convos but the word play kept it sexual Intellectual I was nervous when I stepped in You told me what you ain't like and what's acceptable Hi guys So I'm on my way to my massage this morning um, I chose to walk because it's not too far from my house so um, Monday to Friday I can't walk because I always got to go after work and I'm always in a rush at that point but Saturdays I try to walk every time just to get myself just to get myself moving like I realize when you stay in a bed you feel more sick. You feel swollen. You feel tight, like your muscles is tight. You have to get up and move around to get your blood flowing. So I think that is also another reason why I healed so fast. Like my lady always seems to forget like, okay, this girl is only two weeks. She be thinking I'm months. Jesus Christ she be thinking I'm like a month post-op and it's because I walk around fine like as y'all can see like look I'm walking perfectly fine like I feel fine but I just want to say I hope y'all liked my video yesterday with my before and after pictures and like I said many times before um like I said many times before, I was still swollen in that video, but you still do see a difference. And a lot of people say, well, you wasn't that big to begin with, but I was big compared to how I was used to seeing myself look. So yes, I, um, I was big because I never was that big before. So yeah, I was big. Um, I haven't weighed myself since, but if y'all want to know my weight prior to surgery, when I went into surgery that day, they said I was 167. Now, prior to surgery, I started eating better. Um, one second. Good morning. So, prior to surgery, I started to eat better. Um, if you guys know, I did the Arden's Garden detox um i did that so when i first started doing that i was 171 and i was very embarrassed like how did i get 171 the last time before quarantine before anything i was 150 like 155 so i was like i'm 171 i kept saying like this scale must be wrong so i was like you know what when I get surgery, I'm gonna have to change my diet. I'm gonna have to do more. So I just made sure I did it before I before I had the surgery. And it helped me. I went from 171 to 167. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough for me because I didn't do much. I wasn't exercising or anything. I just changed my diet. I was still working from home, so I wasn't moving around a lot either. That was just a diet. Yo, my skin looks so much better. My skin has been breaking out. Like, even the last video, you see my face is like really greasy. It's because I've been having to put vitamin E oil you want it because it's been like so dried out. I got my eyebrows done like a week and a half ago. And I don't know if it's because like they dipped the same stick in the wax over and over. My face, my, my skin looked bad. I broke out bad. So please ignore my skin. Um... But yeah, I was 167 before my surgery. I haven't weighed myself since, but um, I'm going to weigh myself this weekend. And the next video, I'll tell you how much I am now. And that's if the freaking scale is even correct in my house. It probably isn't, but at least I'll get a glimpse. Um, but yeah, I was 167. That, that taunted me. Like, that was crazy. But... You guys gotta let me know what else you wanna see, what else you wanna know. Um, I was told yesterday by my masseuse that on the days that I don't go to her, because I go to her every other day, except for Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, I go back to back because she's off on Sunday. So 
um, I told her, I asked her, was it okay if I start to use the roller massage, um, the roller? I'll put the roller up below. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. It's just a self-massager. So she said I can start to do that by myself. Um, so I'm going to record myself doing it. That would be a separate video also. Because I ain't going to lie, I'm scared. Like, it's to the point still that I'm... I'm so like scary. I don't even want to touch my skin. Like when I'm putting the lotion and stuff on, I feel better when somebody's doing it for me. <laughs> because if it's me touching it, I'm like, ugh, I'm scared. It's gonna hurt. Like it's gonna be sore. It's gonna be tender. But don't worry. I'm gonna record as much as possible. I got the roller yesterday from my grandmother's house. So I'm gonna be trying it soon. I might be able to do it tomorrow. I may not. But that's all I wanted to say. I finally made it. See, it only took me what? I've been recording for five minutes. It only took me five minutes to get to my masseuse. I'm a little out of breath because I was rushing, but I feel good. Feel good. Today, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Today, I'm t I took my Oxy. I had to take my Oxy before this massage because I know they're going to go harder. And yesterday, I was in pain, so I was scared. I was gonna be in too much pain again today, so I just took it just in case. But I'm here, so I'm gonna speak to you guys later. And um, once again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video and all my other videos and leave comments, please. All right, see you guys later. Bye.